Did you know that down through the centuries time has been used for many ailments, from influenza to epileptic seizures? It was often mixed with equal parts of lavender, and sprinkled on the floors of churches in the Middle Ages to eliminate any unwanted odors. Long before the discovery of modern medicine, crushed thyme was placed on bandages to promote wound healing and ward off infection. The volatile essential oils in thyme are loaded with anti-rheumatic, anti-parasitic, antiseptic, antiviral and antifungal properties. If taken on a regular basis it can significantly help to reduce the viral load in the body, which makes it very beneficial in dealing with chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia, Hashimoto's thyroiditis, rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, vertigo, tinnitus, and multiple sclerosis. Thyme is packed with vitamins and minerals. It's rich in potassium, iron and calcium, all of which contribute to blood pressure regulation, proper red blood cell formation and distribution of antioxidants in the body. It is rich in high and B-complex vitamins, vitamin A, C and folic acid. Thyme contains a variety of important bioflavonoids and volatile oils, including thymol. Thymol is an essential oil that has very powerful antioxidant properties. Thyme has cancer preventive properties, containing terpenoids like rosmarinic and orsolic acids. Thyme's essential oils have expectorant and bronchial antispasmodic properties treating acute and chronic bronchitis, sore throats, coughs, laryngitis, asthma, treats inflammation of the mouth, throat infections, prevent gingivitis. How to make thyme tea? Ingredients Thyme dried or a handful of fresh. A covered container for brewing straining. Mug Instructions Put some herbs in your brewing container, about 1 teaspoon dried herbs per cup of water. For fresh herbs, use more. Pour over water that's just off the boil. Cover and infuse for about 5 minutes. Strain and serve.